Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another series of just working to build your mind, body, soul, financial, business. Just looking to level up this year in life and success. So today we are going to dive into how to create strong habits that stick. So I don't know about you, but I'm really, really big on habits. Habits is what has helped me get to where I am today from when I first just started out within my journey um, to having absolutely no kind of routine, no habits, no direction to where I am today. It's really going to be the foundation of your day and, and any kind of goal or thing that you want to accomplish, relationship, business, health, you're going to have to start with getting and building solidified habits. And so today we're going to talk about how to create habits that stick. And a quote that I really love is, success, if you really want success, it is a product of daily habits that you repeatedly do consistently, not a once in a while transformation. And what I mean by that is you might have a goal, you really, really work hard to get to this goal, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, I got, I got here. And then you just fall back to your old habits. No, the key is to stick to those habits that you create so it becomes a lifestyle and truly a life transformation and not just a temporary fix. So let's go into number one. Um, correction, hold on right here. So one, number one, how to create habits that stick. We'll strive to become at least 1% better every single day. And that means creating small choices. Don't try to go all in, cold turkey, jumping off like whatever you're trying to quit. If you do that, you're gonna get overwhelmed and it's inevitable you just might fail because one, again, you're getting overwhelmed. But if you implement small habits and small tasks to do throughout the day, then, con then you add more, you will succeed. So this is an example. Instead of being like, okay, I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna eat healthier, I'm gonna exercise every day and drink more water, I'm gonna use less social. There's so many things. If you haven't already been doing that, it's going to feel overwhelming. And then if you miss one, you're like, oh man, I failed, I didn't do it. But if you just say, you know what? I'm going to go to bed an hour earlier and I'm gonna wake up an hour earlier and I'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m. and be specific about it. When you do that, then it's you are more likely to succeed because it's not overwhelming. And then every day of that week, you've been waking up at seven, you can congratulate yourself at the end of the week, like, man, I accomplished that goal. I just did that. So strive to become at least 1% better every day. Do that for the year. By the end of the year, you are now 365% better than you were when you first started. Next, you want to focus on the who and not the what. And what do I mean by that? So when we're start, when you're creating a goal, you're creating a habit, you're most likely first thinking about what is the outcome that you want. But instead of thinking about the outcome, think about the person that you want to become. Who do you want to be? For example, for me at the time, I knew what I wanted, but then I also thought about, okay, who does that future self look like? How does she speak? How does she act? How does she, um, what are some of her habits that she does consistently every single day? What kind of things does she tell herself? Is she confident? So if you think and image yourself as like, I'm just a lazy person, it's inevitable you will most likely have lazier habits. But if you're like, you know what, I'm confident, I will be confident. That person I want to become, that lifestyle, she's a confident individual, she speaks with clarity, she's a go-getter, she is focused when she's at doing work at hand, and when you start thinking about who you will become, you will naturally be more motivated to start acting like that individual. So start, and that also will help with like the intrinsic motivation. So instead of having external motivation, you're making the decision to become more closer to your ideal goal and identity. So again, think, focus on the who and not the what. Next, you wanna ask yourself four simple questions. So those questions are, okay, how can I make this obvious? Meaning, how, what is the specific goal or task that I need to do to achieve the outcome that I wanna do? And you want, meaning make it obvious like in the morning. So say the first thing you wanna do is drink a glass of water when you wake up. Have that glass of water 
right by your bed, ready for you when you wake up. So it's obvious, it's right in your face. There you go, you're drinking this eight ounce to 16 ounce glass of water as soon as you wake up. How can you make it attractive? So when you're creating a habit or a behavior or a goal, you want it to be appealing to whatever outcome or who you want to become. If it's not appealing to you, you're less likely to do it. So for me, when I started my health journey, I knew that like I wanted to become stronger and lose body fat. And some of those habits were having a green smoothie and exercising first thing in the morning. So I would prepare my smoothie the night before and it was appealing to me because I would make it super delicious and it almost felt like a treat versus this green like gunk that you're drinking. No, it felt like a treat. It felt delicious. It was del not felt, it tasted delicious. It made me excited. Um, when I started going to the gym, I looked forward to pumping the iron because of the adrenaline that it made me feel afterward. So that was attractive to me. But think about what and how will you make it appealing and attractive to you? And then how can you make it easy? So you definitely don't want it to be hard. The harder it is, again, the less likely you're going to do it. And so for me, the gym was literally a walking distance right outside my door. So it made it really easy when I was starting my journey. But at first, before I even went to the gym, I was doing videos on my TV um, through like Jillian Michaels and then YouTube videos. And that made it easy because I literally just would wake up. I would have my clothes ready for me right next to like right by my bed, put them on, hit play. And then there you go. So it was super easy. And then how can I make it satisfying again? It became satisfying because I love that feeling afterward. So I'm giving a health example, but even, in, for example, with business. So when I'm working on a project or a task, the outcome of accomplishing that task and then the reward, that is satisfying for me. Like getting it done, checking it off the list, that's satisfying for me. But think about how can you make things satisfying for you. And... Uh, Next, you want to think about your environment. This is critical. I say this because it's not just like your house. It's who you surround yourself with. It is what you listen to, what you watch. It all plays into your goals. For me, going back to the health, this is just the main example that I can give because I have an experience. I stopped hanging out with a lot of my friends because they weren't living the lifestyle that I was desiring to achieve. They also were not supportive of the new transitions that I was making. So I knew that I need to eliminate these people out of my life. And with my house, I made it a clean environment. I eliminated all the food. Uh, so that way, when I went into the fridge, there was only healthy options. Hey y'all, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. So again, I'm just going into some of those tricks that, of how you can create habits that stick. Um, so when you switch up your environment to the environment of where you see yourself, of who you want to become, that is going to help catapult your success. Eliminate the stress, eliminate the distractions, eliminate the toxicity. That's really, really going to help you achieve your goals. And next you want to stack. Let's see. Let me, there we go. Oops, right here. Oops, right here. Okay. Stack your habits. And so what this means is com compiling something. So something that you're already doing and then you add another, another habit. So for example, when I eat a meal, I will drink water because maybe your goal is to drink more water. So every, every time you have a meal, you're going to drink water. That's going to help increase the likelihood of you doing that habit. Maybe you want to spend less time on your cell phone because it's super distracting and you're always on your phone. People are in your family's complaining like, honey, you're always on your phone. You're never like attentive or you're not getting work done because you're constantly distracted. So when I'm working, I will silence my cell phone and better yet, silence your cell phone and put it away. When you do that, you are going to see the change within your productivity and how much you accomplish within that hour or what I like to call it is the power 90. The power 90 is a 90 minute jam session where there are no distractions, whatever task that I have at hand, I am clearly focused on getting it done until it is done. And I'm telling you, when you put your phone away and you eliminate all the distractions, you'll see how much more success you achieve. And um, lastly, you want to plan and prepare in advance. So
So whatever habits you have, whatever goals you have for the day, you wanna set out your game plan, set out your routine, preferably the night before, so you're setting up your next day for success. And prepare, like for example, health. going back to health, meal, pr meal prep. If you meal prep at least a couple days in advance, your meals are already done. You don't have to think about it. You're no longer on a rush or on the go and you're grabbing something quick, sometimes unhealthy. Or um, for example, for work, I plan out exactly everything I need to do hour by hour by hour. And then I'm looking at my list. Okay, I got that done. What's next? So it keeps me specifically on track. This is what I do, but you also want to make sure you're doing what works best for you and planning and preparing in advance. That is like key. That is golden. So to recap, how to create habits that stick. Want to become and strive to become 1% better each and every day. Compounded over time, you will see this whole huge shift within your life holistically. Focus on the who, not the what. Ask those four simple questions. Your environment matters. When you shift your, your environment, not only your physical environment, but your peer group, you're gonna see a change within your habits and your success. Stack your habits. So if you're already completing one habit, add another another habit on top of that example again. Uh, while I'm working, I will silence my cell phone and maybe put it away to another room so you can get more done and plan and prepare in advance. So for those of you who are alive right now, I wanna ask you, how do you implement good habits and strategies and goals within your day? Ask yourself that. If you're not comfortable to share right now, go ahead and write it down because when you write something down, you're more likely to stick to it you're more likely to then like it's going to sink in and now you're going to want to actually take action and if you're still unsure of like i my habits are all over the place i need a routine like i feel lost well final step is if you need extra accountability and a template and strategy guide to follow to help you yes setting reminders on your phone that is so key a calendar is setting reminders on your phone i do that all the time especially if something comes up in my head i make sure to set a reminder but again if you're needing extra accountability and a template to follow and level up on your goals to stay on track yes to stay on track make sure to go to the link in my bio and order your copy of the habit reset growth journal i am also working on the book version of this it was a to do um last year but i had some life changing things happen so that is the goal to get that out but yeah just fran i just downloaded the app called fabulous yes and it says yes yeah, small habits small habits daily so what is one habit that you started implementing from that app i would love to know i would love to know so um and then that's that small that small habit compounded over time but again thank you all for being here um, implementing those small habits, those small strategies every single day, compounding over time. And remember, it's not a temporary fix. It's not, uh, oh, I got to my goal and I'm going to revert back. It is a lifestyle change and you have to do it consistency. Yes, drinking water as soon as you wake up, that's awesome. And the more you do it, the more it will become ingrained and you won't even be thinking about it. And now you are this whole different person, better, more elevated and you're just happier and healthier, not only for yourself, but for your family, for if you have a spouse, for your kids. And it will help also increase your productivity within your business. And I'm telling you, you will see a difference. So thank you all for being here. And I shall see you next Monday at noon. And Monday, the topic that we are going to cover is how to become more confident and get more comfortable in front of the camera. Reason being is if you have a business or if you're wanting to build and grow a personal brand, you're definitely going to need to get in front of the camera more. So, and some people are like timid and shy and they don't really know what to say or they you know, you just have to practice, but we're going to go over that next Monday. And yes, 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 RJ consistency. So it becomes routine. And those reminders, I love it, I love it. So uh, I hope you guys love this live. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Monday at noon. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.